These are the sounds from space detected by Voyager 1, an unexpected gift to scientists who are now certain they know where the probe is. The spacecraft is now the first human-made object to leave the solar system and pass into interstellar space. So how did they work that out? The sun basically had an eruption in March of 2012, which was fortunately headed in the direction of Voyager. In about 400 days, it like a tsunami, it finally got to where Voyager is. It caused the plasma uh, to react in a way that it could be sensed. Scientists concluded that the deeper vibrations meant the plasma surrounding Voyager was a lot denser and not the same as inside the Sun's heliosphere, hence a location outside the solar system. However, it was news they couldn't confirm for around a year because magnetic field measurements were still being picked up. Voyager 1 was launched back in 1977 and has a twin, Voyager 2, about five years behind it. Scientists are expected to start turning off the instruments on the probes after 2020, when they will be completely out of power. It's hoped Voyager 1 can reach a part of interstellar space before then, undisturbed by the sun.